Hey everyone, it's Lisa Sweeney here. I'm so excited today. I'm being joined today by Karen T. Lentello, who is the Managing Director of Money Masterminds. And she's one of our amazing women on the rise. And she's going to share with us today all the great stuff she's doing to really help small business owners get control and really understand their money. So Karen, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your business and what you do. So Money Masterminds um, is certainly a, a collaboration of, of experts in the money field. Um, we work with individuals and businesses around managing their money, understanding the financials and understanding how to read their numbers in their, their business because those numbers always tell you a story and how they can better use strategies to better run their businesses so they can have a better life. Mm. I love that, to have a better life. It's part of your driving why. So share with us because you've been in business for a while and you're a real expert, um, you know, a virtual CFO. Share with us, you know, a little bit about what drives you. Uh, well, it took me 50 years to find my passion. I keep telling people when I'm only 52, so it's been a little while. Um, helping others drives me with the knowledge that I've learned in the last 30 years being around business. The last 50 years I grew up around business around small business. So it's about using that knowledge to help other small business owners get their businesses to a point where they're making mon enough money to have that fantastic life they want, that they understand what's going on and that they can be a little less stressed and enjoy the rest of their lives. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And we were just chatting before a little bit about, you know, how Many people don't understand their numbers and, you know, why it's so important. So share with us, um, you know, some of the stories of people that you've actually helped. So I, we help um, both businesses and individuals. We do a bit within the NDIS space, so we're a plan manager there, but we also help participants learn how to grow their capacity to manage their own money. So we work with, with individuals on budgeting their own money. Uh, we can do that outside of the disability sector. We can work with anyone to teach them that. Uh, we're currently working with a business on the opposite side of the uh, country than we are and teaching them the basics of business from a financial point of view. They've not, they've started their own business to try and um, benefit the lives of their children, especially one with special needs. And they admit that they just don't understand this sort of stuff to the point where they don't even have any insurances in place, which is quite frightening. It's about making sure they get this stuff right and explaining to them how to cost their, cost their jobs properly so they can make money on them and how mm. to read it so that they are making a profit so they can have a better life for their family. You know, I've found that people don't understand. People don't know if they're making a profit or not. I've had a number of businesses say to me, we've never actually been told if we make a profit, that they don't know GST isn't an expense to the business. It impacts your cash flow, but it's not an expense to your business. So... It, you know, we get to spend time with people explaining this so that they have a better understanding and they're not so scared of it all because it's it's not really scary. It's just you've got to understand what it's telling you so you can change the way you do your business. Mm. And you were saying before you don't even mind putting yourself out of a job. <laughs> I got taught that very early on in the piece when I was working back in the 90s, we'll say, it's been 30 years, that if you're good enough, something else will always come along, but work yourself out of a job. So I would rather teach people how to do what I do, or at least most of what I do, so that they can do it for themselves because it empowers them. And that's a word everybody throws around, but it really does make your life better when you understand it yourself. Yeah, I think there's a lot of um, confidence you get by being able to make a decision knowing that it's going to add profit or not, but at least knowing exactly what the outcome is going to be. So, um, And so you do quite a bit from both bookkeeping and training and um, virtual CFO, so a number of different angles. Absolutely. So we, we do bookkeeping services. I tend to call it virtual finance and administration because I think it sounds a bit nicer. But we do bookkeeping. So we'll come in and just do your bookkeeping for you, do your BASs, all the things that need to be done. And then from there we can work up levels to the point where, you know, if you have a board structure and you need somebody to come in and do some advisory work or I've worked as a company secretary in the past, you know, I have a graduate diploma in applied corporate governance, so I know that area quite well. 
we can come and sit on the board for that, do that for you as well. We can analyse your results and tell you what's going on, help your budget and forecast, help you set up financial strategies so that you can better manage your cash flow. You can, you know, if you, if you bring stock in from China, you can finance that for up to 180 days. Mm. And then you get, your, you get your stock in, you sell it, you get your money back before you have to pay it out. So it's just about how to manage it better. Mm, sounds like some very smart strategies going on there. Um, and I and the bit that I love about Karen is that, you know, she's not just going to do your bookkeeping or um, manage your administration virtually. She's going to tell you how the outcome's been and, you know, what you need to do with it. So uh, I think that's real gold. And so tell, tell us a little bit more because you said your passion's really about financial literacy. Oh, it's about teaching people to, to understand this stuff for themselves because it just changes your life. And, you know, I'm a numbers nerd. I freely admit to that. That's, as I've been told, that's my genius saying I love numbers. I'm not much of a storyteller, but I tell you numbers will tell you the story behind your business. Um, and I just like, I like, I suppose I like people to love numbers as much as I do and get them to understand their own numbers so they can make their own decisions confidently. Mm. Mm, I love that. And so, you know, what's next for you, Karen, as you grow your business? Well, it's growing the business. I went through a rebranding about this time last year. I started with the added attitude of I'm never changing my business name. No one will know who I am. Change my business name. And then built the whole brand around that and looked at where we could add value to businesses. So a lot of it is about things like, you know, can we put some financial literacy training together that we can do virtually in groups? Can we work one-to-one -one with businesses to get them to that next stage? How do we do that? Mm. And that's that's a, a bit of the focus. There's a bit of focus in the uh, disability sector about um, budgeting their NDIS plans because people overspend them. We pay the bills, we get caught out, and we get caught in the middle of it. But, again, it's about empowering people how to manage their own Mm. funding of any kind so that they can have the life that they really want to lead. Yes. And so here's the message for all of you listening. You know, if you're running a business, you do need to know your numbers. You absolutely have to know your numbers. You need to know whether you're making a profit or not. Um, you know, this is all so, so essential. Um, and having somebody who's willing to, you know, explain it to you is great. It doesn't have to be complicated. And generally, it's not complicated. Business, no matter what the industry, the fundamentals never change. It's just how each industry does it. Mm. And it's, you know, I find it lots of fun. Awesome. So have you got one final message for anyone listening today? Don't be frightened of your numbers. Your numbers will tell you what's going on and they will actually help you have a better business and a better life. And if you're not sure what they're telling you, give me a call and we'll work it out together. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much for joining us, Karen, and sharing a little bit of your wisdom today. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for the time.